Hey everyone, how are you doing? I want to introduce you to this new patch I'm sharing, uh, which is about uh, basically transforming an image into another. For the moment it only works with black and white images and uh, it does this through particles. So basically an image will be composed into particles and go to form another black and white image. And this is kind of the starting point for further exploration. This is not uh, by any means like a finished work. So I'm sharing this patch with you and you can play around with it. You can modify it or whatever. You can study how it works and then we are going to build on from this point um, into some further improvements and cool stuff. So let me show you how this works, how you can operate the patch. So you can drop uh, an image. It doesn't actually need to be black and white, but if it's black and white, it's actually better. So for example, here there, there's written like black, white, and then this drops here. And uh, this, so first thing first, you should load these couple of images. Then you click here. Um, actually, you know what? This is the resulting image. If you want to invert it, so actually have the black part to be white, uh, you can actually click here on invert and then it's going to invert it and then you can also change, uh, choose a threshold for um, for uh, for the image. So for example, you can then use an image that it's actually not black and white, but through the threshold you can actually then just choose the parts that are bright enough to form uh, to form the black and white resulting image. Cool, so then you click here and this loads the images into some buffers and then there is a transfer feedback shader that is going to use some buffers to move the particles from one uh, image to the other. So it's going to use the, the coordinates of the brightest pixels of the images and assign them to random particles. We have one million particles so the, the, the coordinates get basically randomized and assigned to, to particles in transfer feedback. And basically you activate the transfer feedback and then you click here on this toggle and it will uh, make, whoopsie, actually we don't even need the camera really, but it will make the, the particles go from one image to the other. So the coordinates of one image to the other. I've applied a blending enable, without the blending enable it looks like this, which is okay. Just uh, kind of a different, a uh, little less flashy. And then you can choose the speed at which the, the force moves the particles. So yeah, you can make them go very fast or very slow. Yeah, right. And here there is a noise that the particles use when transitioning from one image to the other, right? Uh, let's go back to like one. Like uh, they, they don't go straight to the assigned point. They actually follow, they actually follow this force field which is created by the noise. Uh, but they are still attracted to their final position. So this gives them this kind of uh, wavy motion thing. All right, so this is, this is super simple. Um, oh, if you want to put the images like one, uh, uh, far one from each other, for example, like this, and then we click again here. Uh, let's maybe change the image here. That's not really the, the best one. So let's check with the butterfly, right? So you can change from one image to the other and this is basically the distance between the two images. If I make two, they're going to be farther from each other and then it's going to go from one to the other. So yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty, actually pretty straightforward. If you want to take a look at the shader, you can take a look at the shader. It's actually very straightforward. All right, so I'm sharing this on my Patreon uh, for like professional patcher tier and everything above that and uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel and um, I will see you soon in a new tutorial which is probably going to be about this patch um, otherwise it's going to be about something else cool all right so take it easy people have uh, fun see you soon